ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्ड्स ऑफ विजडम वेलकम्स यू वेन शांत मूर्ति एम्बॉडिमेंट ऑफ पीस वॉज आस्ट ए क्वेश्चन ड्यूरिंग द शुड इनकारनेशन यू लॉस योर टेम्पर स्वामी बट नाउ यू आर एन एम्बॉडिमेंट ऑफ पीस How come? Swami replied, "When a mother is cooking, and her child comes in the way, she scolds him. But while feeding the same child, she never loses her temper." In the sacred text named Brahmanadi, which was written a few thousand years ago, there is a significant mention about Sri Satyasai Avatar. it says sri satyanarayana may seem like an ordinary human being but he will be the shiva shakti incarnate and an incarnation of shirdi sai peaceful by nature this divine being will reside in the parthi village on the banks of chitravati in an abode of peace today we are all experiencing the truth of the prediction the abode of peace described here is prashanti nilayam today devotees from all over the world throng here to attain peace as a young child satya had to stay away from home to pursue education his paternal aunt tortured him physically in many ways but he did not hold this against her in fact when the same aunt became an invalid due to old age swami had her brought over to prashantalayam provided her a helper and looked after her lovingly once a small child when swami was sitting on a chair a relative of his scornfully told him are you deserving to sit in a chair bala satya got off from the chair and calmly said one day i shall sit on a golden throne and today we have all witnessed that swami of course is not keen about all this but he allows it only to make his devotees happy otherwise what swami really likes is the devotees pure and sacred heart this is the throne he likes to be seated upon love all so all is the message given by shantamurti sai to the entire world we can hear his footprints only in the depths of silence so all of us must strive to be peaceful and follow his philosophy of such a dharma shanti prema to become a part of his divine message bhagwan baba is shiva shakti swarupa that shiva is known as bhola bandari and mother parvati is the ever compassionate one when these two have merged as one sai he becomes our beloved father mother brother and friend He is ever compassionate and easily pleased by his devotees. Here is an amusing story narrated by Bhagwan Baba himself. Once Shiva and Parvati were roaming in the sky, they heard the bewailing of a person. The compassionate Mother Parvati looked below and saw a man hanging from a tree on the edge of a hill. as the branch was about to break he was bewailing mother parvati said to lord shiva o bhola bandari i feel that you should save this man lord shankara replied you are the universal mother why don't you save him shiva then suggested to her when the branch breaks if the man calls out appa i will save him if he calls out amma you should save him in a moment the branch broke and the while falling the man shouted aloud ayyo 
remembering neither appa or amma while crossing this turbulent sea of life we all have encounter difficulties for overcoming them swami has given us the easiest way he says that among the nine forms of devotion the best one for kali yuga is smarana chanting singing is glory one should constantly chant the name of god this does not have any limitations of any place or time if anyone keeps his form in front of his eyes and chants his name necessarily with one point of devotion the person is easily able to please god and can weather any calamity swami says god exists in each and every being in this animate and inanimate world realize this truth and serve him this is the only way to please god and attain him bhagwan baba says bhagwan means the creator the nourisher and the one who enlightens the entire world bhagwan also means the one who has the six qualities of aishwarya meaning wealth one dharma righteousness yashas success sri respect jnana knowledge and vairagya detachment bharat is the sacred land of yogis saints righteous souls and the land of sacrifice avatars have periodically taken birth here in answer to the earnest prayers of yogis spiritual aspirants saints and devotees who constantly yearn for divine proximity god the ever compassionate and gracious takes human form and moves amongst his devotees to grant them bliss the reason why the lord god chooses the land of bharat for his advent is bha meaning bhava emotion ra raga music ta tala rhythm bhara symbolizes all these three this is the land where god god's glory is constantly sung with bhava raga and tala bharat is known as hindu desha him means himsa violence do means duratva away from this is the land which stays away from violence this is why the lord god has chosen bharat as the place for his advent we are extremely fortunate that in response to heart felt prayers god has incarnated in india as bhagwan sri satsai baba born in bhardwaj tradition ratnakara lineage and rajo family bhagwan baba is the refuge of millions from all over the world prior to his birth he had given several hints about his advent through many miracles since his birth the ananda rupa bhagwan baba has only granted ananda to all although he is the lord god himself in the nayak leader he has chosen the role of sevak the servitor he constantly tells us my life is my message and exhorts us to follow his life he loves all and expects only love in return right since his childhood he has blessed many devotees by giving them darshan of and has their desired deity to some he has also granted the vishrupa darshan today people from many countries the world over worship bhagwan while taking forward his mission he clearly tells us i have not come to establish a new religion everyone should abide by their own faith and follow the paths of such a dharma shanti prema and ahimsa to attain divinity i have taken birth for the upliftment of all mankind 
during the previous divine incarnations, it was very difficult for any but a few devotees to attain proximity to them. Besides, humanity realized the importance of these incarnations and their divine mission only after they left the earthly plane. We are extremely fortunate that it is possible for all of us to attain close proximity to the present incarnation, Bhagavan Sri Satsai Baba, during his lifetime. Swami always tells us, do not have blind faith in me. Come, examine, experience, and then have faith in me. May all of us develop in our hearts a firm, unshakable faith in Bhagavan Baba. We pray at his divine lotus feet to grant us the good fortune to rest in the shade of blessings of Sri Satchasai, wish fulfilling tree, Kalpa Vruksha. Well, we all have seen how Swami entered into our lives. What we were before coming to Swami, what we are today. As I recall, I know many miracles. Take for example, the past president of India, Shankar Dayal Sharma, lost his son-in-law and dejected and wanted to quit politics. And Swami said, no, you are going to become vice president of this country. He said, Swami, how is it possible? Swami said, I will make you. And he became vice president. Later, Swami said, no, you are still going to be the president of India. And Shankar Dayal Sharma said, Swami, I am not a politician. How can I be the president of India? No, I am going to make you. As you all know, Shankar Dayal Sharma is an ordained devotee of Bhagavan Sri Satsai Baba for decades, for decades. And he rose to the highest prestigious position of this country as the president of this nation, first citizen of this country. And Shankar Dayal Sharma visited him quite often. During one of his visits, which happened to be the New Year's Day, you know what he did? He walked straight and fell at the feet of Bhagavan and, and did not allow anybody to garland him. He collected that huge garland, placed that garland at the feet of Bhagavan, started worshipping with those petals. Swami insisted that he should be seated on the chair by his side. Ultimately he sat and Swami wanted him to speak a few words. He got up and said, I have not come here to speak. I have come here to listen to his divine discourse. It is a, a convention, a general feeling among everybody that whatever we do on a New Year's Day, it will be repeated in the days to come throughout the year. Therefore, knowing that, I decided to visit Swami on this auspicious day. That is the height of devotion of Shankar Dayal Sharma. I know many such cases. I also remember that day session, the Chief Election Commissioner came to Swami and he also did not allow anybody to garland him. Session is a very famous chief election officer. He made most of the chief ministers, including prime minister of this country, the then Indira Gandhi, accountable to all his query or questions. So most of them shivered in their shoes in front of Session the Great. When he attended one of the meetings in Bangalore, he made a big statement on the dais. He said, people praise me as a man of courage, but I have to tell you openly that whatever decision I have taken, every decision is backed by Bhagavan Baba. With his blessings only, 
I could discharge my duties. That's what he said. There are many more things to uh, share with you. We'll meet later. Sairam.